twice the legal limit. A growing list of safety concerns and allegations have surfaced recently about Florida Power and Light's Turkey Point nuclear power facility. Tonight, concerned residents met to talk about the issues, but FPL chose not to attend to answer their questions. CBS 4's Italia Zaya has the story. Some folks who live here in southwest Miami-Dade near the Turkey Point nuclear power plant are concerned that it's not safe. This after our news partners at the Miami Herald uncovered a top-level employee's complaints that FPNL was making unsafe decisions. Now, a meeting tonight did little to ease residents' concerns. That Turkey Point employee resigned in protest last year after a big power outage across South Florida shut down the nuclear reactors. He says his managers at FPNL wanted him to start the reactors up too quickly. He says he refused and quit, saying it would have been very dangerous. FPNL says he is simply a disgruntled employee. FPNL and that employee are currently suing each other. County Commissioner Katie Sorensen held a public meeting tonight and asked if FPNL could explain their safety rules to concerned residents. FPNL did not show up. It's a little bit arrogant on their part. Just as elected officials have to respond to our constituents, I think a public utility has that same responsibility. FPNL sent out this statement. 